day 18,932, I think. Anyway, this Xanax is giving me a nice little buzz, which makes takes all the fear away. No fear, but I have a, a, a different kind of feeling of being stupid for not going right to the hospital, which I'm hoping that I'm uh, mistaken in, in my fear of what has actually happened. But the dark circles under the eyes for the last five months and recently just being super tired all the time. Of course, I have been on the couch for like two weeks. It's a lot of shape. But uh, plus all the lack of exercise previously. So this morning I had a bowl of uh, Raisin Bran that I brought with me to the work site to finish the painting, which John had done already. and got me onto this boat project or dock project, put the dock together, which it's now almost done, and uh, it's much more labor intensive, and the whole, the whole dock fiasco was hilarious, and if I die today, or soon, I never had such a hearty laugh, I don't think John ever had such a hearty laugh, because it was uh, quite the visual to have me up in the sky, crouched over like this onto the dock, not able to look up and see see the uh, see the uh, shore because if I made any sudden movements, the uh, thing might fall further back and, and trap me under the river. And the river has a precipitous that is a sudden curve that goes down, or a sudden slope that goes down, according to Tom, right up at that spot. And, you know, the thing was shaped like this, right? The legs, and they pulled it back like this. Now I'm up on where my knuckles are. Now, there's, the legs are there, so, you know, it's like, whatever. My, these are my two legs. This is, no, this is my head. Here's Here's the legs of the, I don't know, I'll have to show it to you later if I'm alive. It was uh, the most, I'm out there and they're talking about how freezing the water is. Now I haven't gotten wet. I didn't, I was spared getting wet, but I was told that I was going to have to, uh, you know, I envisioned being pulled in with the, uh, the life jack or the life saver thing that they threw out to me and went behind my back and I couldn't, again, I just kind of grabbed the rope and was kind of trying to guide and it was getting stuck on the back. I'm trying to shake it loose and uh, that's that. So here they come, making their, their way up with tools, which I don't have to bring up, thank God. Good thing I didn't take that with me. That would have really stressed me out. Yeah? So how do you feel about, you know, just leaving me Pete up almost here? died here today. Well, you know, I might have had a stroke. I think you might. <laughs> I think you, are you, you're serious with that level of not caring, right? Wow. What am I going to do about it? Drive me to the hospital. Well, you go. go. What? Go. Go? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? No, I'm just kidding. Whatever. Uh, the best thing to do is what you did is relax and take a couple of aspirin. Three I took. Now you can go to the diet. <laughs> the best thing to do is take three aspirin and rest and do what you did. Now you can go to the doctor. <laughs> no, they say that the first few minutes after a stroke is when you should go to the hospital. Just in case.